You need three bandanas in the same size to make this bag. One for the bottom and two for the sides. You need to connect these seams. First, you take two bandanas, one for the bottom part and one for the side, and sew these two sides continuously. My bandanas were really wrinkly and hard to align the seams, so I gave a quick press. Backstitch at the beginning of the seam and continue sewing until you come to the first corner. I use half inch seam allowances. When you come to the corner, make a 90 degree turn and continue stitching. Sew up to the edge and backstitch. The bottom of the bag is on the left and the side panel of the bag is on the right. Lay the seam allowances toward the side panel of the bag and top stitch from the good side of the fabric to reinforce the seams. Do this as close to the corner as possible, but you won't be able to top stitch right up to the corner, but that's okay. When you get closer to the corner, make sure the seam allowances are still laying flat on the other side. Now top stitch in the same way from the other end. Make sure to lay the seam allowances toward the side panel. I will hide this corner in the seam later, but if you like the pointy look, you can leave as is. Now you add the third bandana. With the right sides of the bandana together, align the edges and sew with half inch seam allowances. Lay the seam allowances toward the side panel and top stitch. Stitch in the shape of square to reinforce this corner.
All the seam allowances are laying toward the side panels, and all seams are top stitched. To give a little bit of a shape to the back bottom, open the corner like this and sew here. I marked 4 inches, but this is really up to your design. To use this bag, you tie the handles. You could sew them together, but I like to leave them like this because this way you can tie them in many different ways and you can fold the bag flat when not in use. I thought that some kind of closure here would be useful. You can use a regular button loop, velcros, or a pair of plastic snaps like I did. I thought I had something that would match my bag, but among all these colors, I did not have any shades of brown. So I decided on this gray color, which I thought was inconspicuous enough. Usually, I can push the pointy part through the fabric, but three layers of cotton bandanas were really strong. So I used my owl to make a tiny hole. You don't want to make a big hole here, because if the hole is too big, the plastic snout will shift around, making the hole even bigger and eventually falling out. I really like the fact that this bag opens up really wide at the top. It makes putting stuff inside so much easier and quicker. Then you can tie the top like this and hold it almost like a clutch purse. Or make the handle a bit longer to hold it like this or this. Or you can make it a shoulder bag. I hope you enjoyed the video and give the project a try.